What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday, June 4th, episode 6 here. It's Long Island Silver, just checking in. As always, uh, showcasing some of the stuff that I pick up on a day-to-day -day basis. What we're going to have up for sale uh, this Wednesday's live auction, 9 p.m. Again, if you guys don't follow me, which I'm sure anybody who's watching already does, uh, Instagram at Long Island Silver. We do live auctions every Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. Uh, so, yeah, let's just kind of go run through what we got. Let's zoom out a little bit, see what we got here. Uh, what do we got today? So we got some generic stuff, nothing nothing crazy. Some generic, got a nice price on. Uh, it's always, always good to have some generic silver, right? <clears throat> Beautiful 5-ounce uh, Scottsdale button. Love these things. Always happy when I can find Scottsdale out in the wild, right? Love the Scottsdale mint. Really a nice angle hard P series. Pretty basic P series, nothing crazy, but these are fun. Love the shape and design of these. Never turn down angle hard at a good price. Uh, some federal bars, federal refining, local refinery in Long Island. Great guy. Love these bars. Things are thick. Uh, we got some five ounces from the Federal as well. A couple of five ounces. 100 gram PAMP. From the old packaging. Don't find those very often in the wild either. Uh, some 10, uh, 10 ounces Northwest Territorial Mint. These are fun. I got a kick out of these. I like these bars. I love 10 ounce, uh, 10 ounce sheets like that. One of my favorite things to buy and stack. Love those. Some pandas, of course, because don't we all love pandas? All at MS-70. It's nice. 2016. 2017. All in 70. 2013 and a 2012 love the pandas I always say it if I had a few thousand extra to just uh, buy and forget about I would buy as many back day pandas as I can for a good price of course and just sit on them you gotta love the returns the pandas have been bringing over the years 10 ounce year of the dragon this thing's pretty cool don't know the maker, but it's a cool bar, so we bought it. I'm sure somebody would love to add this to their stack. Uh, what else? We got some gold, some pamps. Old school uh, gram. Istanbul. Old Istanbul gram. Some one-tenths. Love our one-tenths, right, guys? Australian one-tenths, American. Can never go wrong. Some more IGRs. Been throwing a lot of these into the mix lately. Fun stuff. Uh, another loose pamp. And a one grammar. It's a cool little coin. Like a one gram uh, gold eagle. Fun. Uh, let's see, sterling silver. We're talking about sterling silver a little bit <clears throat> the other day. I put some up in my auction last Friday. Did pretty well with the sterling. Um, I'm a big pusher of sterling. I love it. You know, it, it, it's a constant, not a struggle, but it's a constant grind looking for interesting silver pieces to keep putting up on my auctions, stuff that people uh, are going to appreciate and like, and I really, I pass up on a ton of cool sterling stuff just because people tend to not want to buy sterling, which I don't get. Sterling is practically the same price-wise, spot for spot, uh, and when you go, ultimately, when you go back down the line, when silver hits $50 an ounce or whatever it hits in the future, you bring sterling to any place that you're going to go to sell your metals from, they're going to buy sterling from you just as fast as they buy 999 
or they buy 90% coins. There's no difference. Nobody will discriminate when it comes to buying sterling or 999 or 90% silver. Silver hits $50 an ounce. That means sterling's worth like 47, 48 bucks an ounce. It's great. Your returns are there. Uh, and quite honestly, a lot of the pieces that are out there in, in sterling are, are pretty interesting. They're a lot more interesting than standard uh, one ounce 999 coins are. Change it up a little bit. So we pick these up. Old series from, um, oh, where are these guys from? Uh, what mint is that? I think the Danbury mint out of London. Some car series, some old school cars. These are pretty cool. Little information on the makers on the back at Ford, Chevy, Mercedes, Box Hall, Maybach. Those are fun, right? 1935 Bugatti, pretty cool. All of these are a thousand grains, so they all, I think they're very little size of size, but they're a thousand grains all together. That comes out to about 2.10 troy ounces, right? Sounds about right. Um, we got these. I had a Teddy Roosevelt, but I already sold that. These are some fat bars. They come from a series, uh, the Presidential Ignitz Collection, first edition. The guy actually had, yeah, five and a quarter. The guy actually had the whole se the whole set, but they were all in a bag. I think it's like the whole set. God, I think it comes out to like a couple of hundred ounces. So I wasn't trying to buy the whole set. I didn't want to go too bullish on sterling silver, but... Like I said, I'm going to start uh, peppering in sterling silver pieces from time to time just to change it up a little bit. And ultimately, silver is silver. Right, everybody? Silver is silver. Um, and then we got some 10-ounce bars. More 10-ounce bars. Some RMCs in the wrapper. Fresh. Love these bars. Not crazy premiums, but great-looking piece of stack. Uh, BMX metals. Never found one of these <clears throat> before in the wild. Don't really find them online, so I like picking this stuff up. Kind of the interesting stuff you don't really see around. Good looking bar, standard size. BMX in the back, BMX in the front. Good stuff. And then this bad boy, which normally I really stay away from sunshine mint stuff, not because it's not silver, but just because it's it's a generally a more generic uh company but the toning on this thing is absolutely insane so i bought it for the toning and i'm thinking whoever else buys this is going to buy it for the toning this might be uh one of the nicest tone bars i've had the uh, opportunity to buy in a very long time beautiful blues purples golds Gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous. So that's fun, right? Fun, fun stuff. So that's what we got going on. Uh, this is all going to be up on Wednesday. What is that? Wednesday the 6th. 6, 6, 18. Where is the time going? Summer's going to be over before you know it. Oh my God, look at that bar. Back and forth. Whew. That is just gorgeous. Someone is going to be very, very happy with that purchase. So again, this is what we got. Uh, Long Island Silver. If you are not following me already, give me a follow. Turn your post notifications on. And keep an eye out for the live auctions, guys. We're always giving, uh, giving great deals away. You can ask anybody out there. When some of the best deals all go on Instagram, man. Always good deals flying. Thanks for checking in, guys. Like, share, comment. Anything helps. All right. You guys are great. I will see you next time. Later.